secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dimming, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Move from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to dream Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have a very special banger for you. But first and foremost, let me go ahead and just say Merry Christmas to all my nephews and nieces. I hope you got every single gift. I hope you got anything and everything that you wanted. You know, Santa Claus hopefully came through in the clutch and got you everything you wanted. And hopefully, you know, maybe some of y'all got NBA 2K20. Some of y'all got um, some VC. So y'all can go ahead and make a build. So it's only right for me to go ahead and give y'all the best player, arguably the best player um, in the league right now, and arguably the best player to ever play, King James, all right? Now, before we go even further, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. We're definitely looking to go ahead and get this big push to the end of the year to try to get 13,000 subs. That's the goal. Let's see if we get 13K, all right? But neither here or there, let's go ahead and get into it. We're talking about LeBron James here, right? LeBron James, who's been the phenom ever since he came into the league. Obviously, you can see right now he's a 99. This is the 99 LeBron James. As you can see, when you go to all players, there's only two 99s on the game. And that's Michael Jordan. And that's also LeBron James. Now, when you go back to all-time greats, you also can get a 99 with um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, right? So it just kind of depends. But... This is supposed to be the best version of LeBron James, a two-way slash and playmaker. As we know, at 6'8", 250, it's almost nearly impossible to get anything that is competitive out of a 6'8", 250-pound player. So we're definitely going to have to work around that. Obviously, we don't have to get into all the numbers for LeBron James. Most of y'all are up to date with what type of greatness this man has done in his 17-year career. He's been to nine NBA Finals. He's won three of them. The argument's always been, hey, man, he's been to nine. He's only won three. But then, you know, like I, I tell people all the time, I was like, listen, just getting to nine, right? And just not just nine, but nine straight NBA Finals, that's an accomplishment in itself. Now, of course, Michael Jordan went to six, and he won six. I know a lot of people give the arguments that, hey, you know, six is more than three. Um, LeBron James' career is not over with. And, um, you know, obviously he's playing with my Lakers. That's you obviously don't know. That's my favorite team. So, you know, we're looking really good this year. And it might be a good opportunity for LeBron James to get number four, maybe five, six, you know. Maybe actually do what he said when he was in Miami when he was doing that countdown. He's like, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm serious, man. Seven, eight. Y'all remember that quote. All right. But, um, anywho, let's go ahead and go into LeBron James, right? So, as you can see, of course, his slashing is going to be off the charts, right? Driving dunks at 95. Um, close shots at 96. His mid-range shots at 91, which is crazy. His three-point shot is actually pretty decent here at 74. As you know, LeBron James, as he's gotten older, his three-point shot has gotten better and his range has got better. Um, I was looking at the game last night and he literally shot, pulled up from like 30 feet, like from Steph Curry range and banged. I mean, the straight bucket. I was like, dang, LeBron really is confident pulling from the three. But this version of LeBron James is a 74, right? Of course, you know, the post fade is going to be good, which I thought would be a little bit higher than 84, but... Um, that's all he has, 84. Um, post moves, 89, which, of course, you know that's going to be high. Um, and then his ball handling is an 86, so his speed boost is at 6'8", 250. He also has an 89 speed with the ball. Um, and then defensively, you know, his interior defense is not bad in 80. His perimeter defense is off the charts. But then this is what's really crazy. His still is only a 62, but his block is only a 52, which, of course, you know, LeBron's known for them crazy chase down blocks. So I thought this would be a little bit higher, but it's not. Um, last but not least, the defensive rebounds is good, but also, as you know, where you at, the speed's a 97 and the strength's a 92. This is what really sets him apart. 97 speed, 92 strength. You just do not see that combination, right? And then let's go to the badges. And of course, you know, look at these 56 badges. He has tons of them, right? So you can see he actually has Hall of Fame badges on defense <clears throat> and on playmaking. And then also on shooting, <laughs> which is the first time I've seen someone have Hall of Fame badges in three categories. And of course, his finishing, which obviously LeBron's been known for since he first came into the league at 18 years old, he has no Hall of Fame badges, which is impressive, you think, but he has every single badge. He literally has every single finishing badge. And I'm gonna see, does he have every shooting badge? 
Uh, make sure. Does he have fades? I didn't see. Does he have fades? Let me see. Does he have fades in here? So he doesn't have deep fades. That's crazy. And then does he have everyone here? He actually has every single um, pound uh, playmaking badge. And defensively, does he have every single defensive badge? I bet you he does. And he definitely does not have general. He doesn't have four general. I mean, he doesn't have, let me see, does he have general? No, he doesn't have that. Okay, so basically, I mean, look, at he has almost every single badge. I mean, so you already know what this is going to be. This is going to be an extremely impossible build to make. But since it is Christmas, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this challenge on. So let's go ahead and go to the My Player Builder and see if we can make a, a LeBron James, a two-way slashing playmaker that's 6'8", 250. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's see what we can do. All right, so what we got here is LeBron James. He's a small forward, of course. You know he's number 23. He's right-handed. All right, um, let's keep it moving. So I toyed um, back and forth between this pie chart here, uh, this pie chart here, and this pie chart here. This right here was kind of quickly just taken away because the ball handling wasn't good. The steal, um, his defense and stuff wasn't good. Um, now, even though his has he has a low steal and low block, um, he has a decent um, rebounding and he has defense. Um, his lateral quickness and strength, right, are pretty good. That doesn't work it. This right here has better ball handling, but again, <coughs> defense just is not good enough for me to what I think of a LeBron James build. And as usual. This pie chart right here is literally the best pie chart to be all around. Like, if you want to be just all around pretty good, this is the pie chart that we're going to do, right? And this is, the, I mean, this is, what, this is what you want to use, and this is the one I'm going to use, right? Now, when it comes to his actual physical profile, I went with this one here, right? <clears throat> and the reason why is because you get plus eight to everything. So just think about it. Plus eight, this will give you 90 speed, all right? You will be able to get your verts, your... um. Your vert will be an 80, uh, 86. Your um, strength will be an 86. Your acceleration will be an 86 with 90 speed. That's pretty freaking good, right? Now, and it gets even better, of course, after you work around these attributes. Now, listen, you're not gonna be able to make LeBron James, LeBron James after rip. This is has some. This has to be a commitment. You understand what I'm saying? This has to be a commitment to grow this build <clears throat> and hit 99 with it, right? You hit 99 with this build. You're going to really reap the benefits of this. So I'm going to show you exactly why this is going to be the best one. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> so this is what you want to do. You want to max out these top from um, these top four right here. That give you 12 finishing. Right. Then you want to go ahead and go your mid range, your three point shot, your post fade and then get 58 right here. That's going to give you exactly five shooting badges. Right. Then you want to go ahead and get an 85 pass accuracy, max out your ball handling and your post moves. Right. Then you want to max out. Your perimeter defense, your lateral quickness, you definitely have to have your blocks maxed out, right? And then you want to go with your defensive rebounds at 73, all right? So what that does is it gives you 12 um, def uh, defensive badges. It gives you 18 playmaking. It gives you five shooting. It gives you 12 finishing, all right? Now, when it comes to his size, you want to go built. This is the thing here, guys, right? LeBron James is... His his like his his height varies from six seven all the way to six nine. Like there's just a crazy mystery about what really LeBron James is, right? But for me and for this build, in order to truly get a feel for LeBron James, you cannot go six seven, you cannot go six eight, you cannot go six nine. You gotta go six six, right? You have to go six six here. Because if you go any higher, as you know on 2K, 2K just does not give you any benefits of being 6'8", 6'9", and being able to do what LeBron James can do. LeBron James has an 86 ball control, right? LeBron James has a 91 mid-range shot. LeBron James has 95 driving dunk. You can't get that. Look at this. You can't get that at 6'9". Look at his ball handling at 6'9". Look at the ball handling at 6'8", right? Look at his driving dunk, right? Look at all the attributes and how they change, right? But when you go to 6'6", look at all the benefits in 80 ball handling right so then now you have an 84 driving dunks so you have contact dunks off rip right of course you know you all you have to do is just hit 90 um six you have the 85 driving dunk so you have that but look at your vert now look at your vert so now all of a sudden your vert with, with your plus eight goes to a 91 vert right you'll have a 93 speed right you have an 84 strength right now <clears throat> you want to go 230 
instead of 250, you want to go 230, okay? So 230, now all of a sudden you have an 89 strength. You'll have a um um a 93 speed, okay? You'll have an 87 acceleration, you'll have um an 89 vert, right? At 230, right? So you can understand how this can play like LeBron James, all right? <clears throat> then you want to get your wingspan and you want to drop it down to 79. Right, 79 will give you an 82 ball control. Right, so we have 82 ball control. That means you're going to be able to speed boost with this build. Now, I've tried this build out and I played with it a lot uh, within the um, the my creator um, practicing around with it and seeing how it played. This guy is so big and so strong, 83 strength. You can tell literally right when you start playing that you're going to be just so much bigger and stronger than anybody on the floor. So. It, it's gonna play like LeBron James, even though it's two inches, two inches shorter, and 20 pounds lighter. But the thing is, is this: how many people are gonna be on? How many guards are gonna be in the court? That's gonna be 175 pounds, right? 180 pounds because everybody lowers their, their weight all the way down. So you're gonna be 230. You're not playing the three. You're gonna be playing the point with this build, right? The point guard position with this build. So you can understand how you're gonna be able to cook up with this build. Right, <clears throat> just think about it again. You're 6'6, 230 pounds. Right, when you hit 99, you're gonna be able to speed boost with this build. This is a build you have to let you have to grow into this build. You have an 88 driving dunk, right? You have a 78 mid range shot, right? You have a 72 3, right? You have a 76 fade, you have a, um, an 83 on um, post moves, right? You have an 86 perimeter defense. Right? You have an 81 block. You have 76 defensive rebound. You are a point guard right? that can literally have 90 pass accuracy, that has 86 ball control. You can speed boost. Like, I, I, I want you to really understand what you think, what we're talking about here. Most guards are going to be 6'3", right? 6'4". Right? You're going to be 6'6". Six, six. So in reality, since everybody in this game is going smaller, 6'6 six, six is like 6'8". Six, you understand what I'm saying? 6'6 six, six is 6'8 six, now. 230 will be 250 because most of the guards are 170 pounds, right? 160 pounds, 180 pounds, right? Now here, what you want to do is you want to go with the slashing play, the slashing, right? But watch this, my nephews and nieces, watch what this build is. And this is why I say this is a really, really good gift for y'all, man. Because this might be the first time ever, right? Right? But you have a slashing playmaker, a 6'6", six, six, slashing playmaker and it says lebron james similar to all right so keep that in mind the game is game everybody's playing so much smaller in this game now by being a 6'6 230 pounds you will be a lebron james you will play like a lebron james on this build and i'm telling you how many 6'6 slashing playmakers have you seen in a small forward position you don't see any of them. There's no 6'6 six, six slashing playmakers. All slashing playmakers you see are 6'2, 6'3, 6'4. This is a 6'6 six, six slashing playmaker. Right? So now what we want to do is this. We want to go ahead and test this build out. All right? And like I said, this is where you have to be very creative. Um, because again, there is certain badges you have to get. So you definitely want to get contact finisher. That's one. All right? You definitely want to get fancy footwork. Okay, and then you want to get Relentless Finisher, right? You want to get your Giant Slayer, right? And then what you want to do here is that you want to either get your, um, you want to either get your, you can either get your Slithery Finisher, right, for your Euro Steps. If you don't do um, Euro Steps and that type of deal, but what it does is that you can see what Slithery Finisher does. It increases the ability to slide through traffic and avoid contact doing gathers and finishes at the rim. So even by doing um, Euro Step or Hop Steps, it's supposed to be able to help you with that, right? Supposedly, right? But for me, what I'm thinking like is, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I say go down with back down Punisher, right? So what you, what's to happen is, is that you'll be on these little guards. You can actually go ahead, ISO up. Once you ISO up, because this should be an isolation build, I'll be honest with you. I think it'd be dope as an isolation build, not being an actual pick and roll type build, be an isolation. Be these guards or these little lockdowns on the island by themselves. Take them down to the right, do some fancy footwork. Go ahead and back down, punish them, and then go ahead and get easy dunks on these guards. All right. Now you can make it any way you want to. 
But I'm just, I visualize this building, an ISO build, like LeBron James taking it straight, just holding R2, going straight to the rack, being a very big, strong player, going right to the rack, back down punishing, or just doing some hop steps and dunking on people. Now, the Giant Slayer is something that, you know, I'm putting on here, but I know like you have to, I think it's like, Giant Slayer only works as if the defender is like six inches taller than you, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think it's going to actually activate that much because a lot of the centers, if you think about it, 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", 6'11". So yeah, so if there's seven footers in the paint, then this will be activated. If there isn't a seven footer in the paint, it's not going to be activated. So what you could do is you could take this off. You can um, go ahead and put um, Slithery Finisher here and have that type of combination. So keep that in mind. It is six inches that you have to be for Giant Slayer to be activated. But again, it's your build. Do it any way you want. Here, you want to get your quick draw, right? Get your quick draw on um, Silver. I mean, obviously, LeBron doesn't have the quickest release, but you want to have quick draw on Silver, right? You want to have range extender. Remember, like 2K Lab said, range extender, you only need that on bronze because you're um if you don't have any if you don't have an uh at least a 90 and up range extender is the best way to help i think that'd be good to have range extender because you do have a good mid-range shot so range extender would be really good then you also want to go and get corner specialist all right you want to get corner specialist on um silver um or if you don't want to do corner specialist on silver then you can either go catch and shoot um on bronze which you can do also but see the, the, the thing is this with two badges you have to figure out what would be the best build um, way to, to work with this, with this build as far as ISOing, that type of deal? So for me, what I what I said is that if you're going to be ISOing and you can do a lot of catch and shooting, then just go ahead and go with Hot Zone Hunter, all right? See, the thing is, is LeBron James is not known at this point in time when he was playing, just a great shooter, but he could work in the mid-range. So you have a decent mid-range shot, get your Hot Zones with a range extender and work from there, right? And then for your playmaking badges, of course, you want to have your quick first step. You want to have your handles for days right um these two you definitely want to have right you want to have your space creator you definitely want to have your space creator and you definitely want to have your tight handles and you want to have your post spin technician right so again what you're doing here is as, as i'm saying you're isoing up you take them to the rack you can back down punish them with silver post spin with gold get into the rack you're just going to be a really unstoppable iso player with this build, what LeBron James is doing, even if you look at the top left of playmaking, what, what's LeBron James doing right now? It's perfect. He is backing down Paul, or Chris Paul, and that's exactly what you'll be having with this build. You're going to be against, once again, these smaller point guards. You're going to have a massive advantage. So this is, like I said, this is just thinking outside the box, trying to really play like a LeBron James and how you can really dominate with the LeBron James build, right? And then from the defensive side, you want to go ahead and get your clamps, right? You want to get your intimidator, you want to get your pick dodger. Um, yeah, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. You pick dodger. You want to get your rebound chaser. The rebound chaser. And then you want to get your chase down. All right. So what, what, what this is going to do again is that it's going to help you stay in front of your defenders. You also get chase down because LeBron is really known for his chase down. That's one of his Hall of Fame badges. You get rebound chaser just to get the animation to be able to take advantage of getting those rebounds. But then you have it. This right here is the LeBron James build. Hopefully I explained it thoroughly enough to you understand how this build can dominate. You have to hit 99 with this build to really truly appreciate it. If you actually test this build out, if you go ahead and make it right now and test it out and go to the um, test the build and get this player at 99, get all these badges they have right here and go play it, you're gonna immediately understand because what you're gonna be guarding is another point guards. Put yourself at the um, at the position, no matter if you have, if you have a small four position, you're gonna be so much stronger than them, you're gonna dominate. But if you like this video, guys, go ahead and please drop a like. If you haven't subbed yet, please go ahead and drop a sub. Other than that, my nephews and nieces, again, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. And I'll be back really, really soon. And you know when I say I'll be back really, really soon, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.